Right, today's my birthday. It'd be great to have an upgraded grill. Wow, birthday wishes do come true. Hey, welcome to the episode of Beers, Jack, and Barbecue. I'm Craig, man behind the camera's Jack. Hope you liked the beginning that you saw there. A little preview. And yes, this is the SNS kettle. So we kind of made a deal with them, had them set a kettle to us. We're going to show it off. Um, but honestly, I'm a huge fan of all their products because right in here is the Bronze package, which is the Slow and Sear Deluxe, and the Drip and Griddle Pan Deluxe too, which has a roasting rack on it as well. Um, as you saw before, we've had a, a previous kettle. I'm replacing that kettle with this new grill, just because of all the upgrades and all the improvements that they always make on their products that just make the grilling experience a little bit better. So can't wait to unbox this thing, put it together, and show it off. So we'll unbox it after the intro. Now for the masterpiece. The important part, instructions. A nice heavy duty grate, that's for sure. There's the top. I do like the color. I know I saw comments about the color, but I think the color is pretty cool. All right, that's everything. Packaged nicely, looked like everything came out fine. No issues whatsoever with the unpacking. So uh, I'm actually gonna take a peek at the instructions and we'll bring it right back to put it together. All right, so we're gonna put this thing together. So like I said, I mentioned in the beginning, um, the grill was sent to us um, at no cost. Now the, the grip and driddle pan and the slow and sear did not come with it. So I actually purchased them myself. Um, and my other kettle, I actually have the, drip, uh, the uh, slow and sear deluxe as well. Um, and I had a dripping griddle pan, but I don't have the roasting rack um, because it wasn't available at the time I got that. The, as, as you know, I'm a big fan of, of Slow and Sear products. When I ordered the kettle before, two plus years ago, this actually showed up before the grill even showed up. So I knew I was getting this right from the start. So i uh, going to uh, pass that on to our future son-in-law. He's going to get himself a grill to work with and have a Slow and Sear already in there with the dripper griddle. And I figured since I got a new grill, I'm going new products. So just wanted to show you them quick, let you know the explanation, and we'll start putting this thing together. All right, I hope you're doing a whole lot of talking as we just go through this, and I'm sure Jack's going to speed things up to make it less painful to watch you watch me try to put this all together for you. So uh, I'll let you know how everything went, though, um, at the end or as, at different parts of this shoot, just to let you know how things are going. So uh, we'll go from there. We got to live together. All right, so putting the, the bottom pieces on, put the first piece on, and I'm gonna do the legs now. These are nice. I know before when I did a kettle, the legs weren't so easy.
All right, starting to look like a grill. So far, so good. My only thing I would say is there was just a few small parts, but not a big deal. Didn't take too long to do them. Uh, just a matter of looking at the instructions and just doing it right. And that is an issue for me. keep looking at the wrong instruction <laughs> for whatever reason I'm looking at this blown up circle for something else and it's not for that All right, there we go. Dilemma. One washer left. Actually, there are two washers stuck together, so I know that one's an extra one. Because I did double check the instructions and we had everything covered. So, uh, here it is. Didn't put the insides in yet, but... There we go. I'm going to bring it down. We'll do a little uh, walkthrough, look at what everything is, what it does, and uh, we'll show you that. All right, so here we are, all put together. Not too bad. Um, I did make a mistake on the handle. I had missed a, a, a direction there. I had to redo that, but not a big deal. Um, probably the handle was probably the hardest part for me just because of reaching and doing it, but initially I did it wrong, so that's probably what it made it so difficult for me. But everything else, like I said, there were a few small parts, a few things like that, but everything else went together pretty nice. It's nice and solid. The lid's nice and tight on there. Uh, it does come with a gasket. I didn't put that on right now. Um, don't necessarily plan on doing it, um, didn't have one of my other once they start cooking you kind of build up some of that um, You know almost grit of this of the grill and it'll seal itself a um, couple nice real features are for your probe Got a little probe hole and on the bottom on the other side is a for smoke so you can adjust your your temps a little bit differently um, the other nice thing in here is I Can't show it to you now, but the fan blade itself other kettles have either three or four This has five so you actually get more airflow I do have the easy spin grate which comes with this and I have the, the uh, slow and sear in and the dripping griddle pan in already Because um, what I'm going to do next is actually do the first burn in Shelf itself works pretty nice and easy um, Not too much to it Kind of like the other one A um, little bit of difference is and the slight wobble is actually my porch because it actually sits pretty level when I had it turned the other way And sitting where I'm actually going to sit it um, And I need to make sure I have everything tight as well as what I'm going to do But um, what we're going to do is kind of go over it I'll tighten everything up, make sure everything's good. I do want to wash the grate quick before I do the first burn and just get the oil off. And then the burn in will actually do the rest of that as well. Um, so next thing you'll see is us uh, putting a fire in this thing. As always, cheers. So here we are. Grills all together. Got some charcoal in here in the slow and sear. What I usually do on the first burning is actually light a, a starter kind of in the corner over here. Let it just slowly go. I do the vents open wide open in the bottom. I'll have the top vents open too. But until the fire gets going, let it heat everything slowly is kind of what I like to do. Probably doesn't matter in many cases, but I just like to do everything, get some heat going slowly so everything just warms up and then starts getting to temperature. I'm going to add some probably fresh charcoal once everything's lit. And then this is actually old charcoal. I'm just using it up. Um, let it burn out completely. And then we're going to do some cooking. So with that, and like I said, everything here was easy putting together and all those things. But you definitely want to subscribe right now. Click the little bell to get notifications because we have like four cooks planned in the next week or week and a half that are going to come out. Um, so this is actually going to come out on the day you can actually order the grills um, if you didn't already pre-order. So hopefully you like everything you saw. Click the little bell, like I said, get notifications, and we'll see you next time.